All right, so we got invited by Nade Shop. We got into the game, but now I'm getting an invite from Moach. You get in yep. that? I got an invite from Moach as well. Let's see what goes on when I click on that. Interesting. I don't know who's hosting now. I'm so confused. Yeah, now we're back in a... It looks like it's uh, definitely going to be Prof's Lobby because they all have their scores from the previous game. Yeah, maybe they uh, just kind of messed up on who was supposed to host the next one. Yeah. Definitely think that's uh, probably what happened. Which is, it would make more sense if that was Prophecy's host for S&D. Even then, you shouldn't get 6 0 if you're Optic Gaming. Uh, right. But I wonder, can they carry that momentum and take two in a row? Mm. You know, Biolab Uplink is Optic's weakest uplink map. But I think they're, they just don't have, Prophecy just lacks that one explosive, you know, Slayer. I think Classic can do it, but can Classic do it consistently? Right don't know but even when he does do it the rest of them need to play very well in the slaying department as well when they'd be looking forward to seeing if you know nade shot can keep it up from optic in the slaying department because uh that's a big question mark as well nade's been going big today uh i do believe yeah. he had host in their first hard point so that would kind of explain him leading all players he dropped 41 if you're just joining us optic gaming going up against prophecy this is the semi-finals winner moving in to play for 900 dollars in first place in today's 2000 pro point tournament on the other side of the bracket, Orbit has shocked everyone. They took out FaZe, they took out SB. Now Orbit playing against Denial in their semifinal match. We'll watch it from Optic's point of view off the start here. This is game number three, tied 1-1 after a very impressive prof performance in SND. Who's your hard or excuse me, who's your uplink player to watch here from Optic? From Optic, I think it's going to be Crim6. He does so much in the slaying department and so much around the drone. Definitely going to look for him. And then on the other side, I'm actually going to look for Ricky to have a big game. I, I expect Class to do well in the slaying department. I think Ricky needs to be that second player that steps up for Prophecy. Crim on our screen at the start. And it looks like first big battle might be from Nade Shot watching his base. So they clear out their base first. Crim is going to be taken down in purple. And Moach with the IMR already set up to watch outside. Now, when we were watching Prof earlier on this game mode, they brought out three IMRs to watch the satellite towards the end of the game once they had a nice lead. Very odd that uh, three IMR set up. And we're going to see Ricky. He's actually going to be able to get that one point throw right in off the break. Very nice play. He's actually sort of 0 and 1, but the Slayer that we were looking at for Prophecy Classic starting off very strong at 5 and 2. It's exactly what you would want to see if you are Prophecy. Five kills in under a minute for Classic to start things off. Moach now with the IMR behind the head glitch. Bomb, excuse me, ball in the hands of Ricky once again, moving in with this satellite. Could have a player right around him. Does he charge in for the melee? He does. Another teammate behind him. Won't be able to clean up the kill in time. So Crim6 takes out Ricky, but won't be able to stop Moach from the toss. Does the bomb roll far enough? It does not. Nate Shot is going to take that satellite, take it up the Eskies, and Bose is going to rally this one. Chaos inside <laughs> the base as the satellite going back and forth. Right, I almost expect Optic to get the counter out of this, though. It's going to be Scump, and I believe he's got Crim6 over there as well. And now you see all the players from Optic Gaming leading the charge. Looks like Scump going to throw that one in, get that one-point score. Great counter right there from Optic Gaming. Almost an interception coming in. Instead, it's three down for Prophecy. Classic was the last man up. He's pushed over to Optic's side of the map. Shots coming behind him. Does he double back for the melee? It looks like that's the plan. Tries to jump around. Won't be able to do much. And that satellite now moving with Optic once again. Formal gets it to Biolab before being cleaned up. But this one, really a slugfest as there's been no clear control of the map. Moach trying to take advantage of the situation. Oh. Will be able to put it in for one from downtown. Very nice play right there from Moach. I think Nade really didn't even realize that there was a player in position to pick up the drone from the uh, Prophecy lineup. And that once <laughs> once Moach got it, he kind of turned around in bio, but it was a little bit too late. Nice slaying. Classic leading the charge. Moach able to cut this one right. Two players staring at him. His teammates not able to get the kills fast enough, and that is three down. Big kills from on top of the base. Formal in your kill feed doing the damage. Is going to make sure his base is clear. Working with this battle at range, but they're trying to rotate the ball back through their spawn. And that's a very interesting decision when you had a player on your base. Prof unable to convert it, but they do stop. And now it's Ricky with a chance to go for a one-point play. 
this is why Optic struggles a little bit on this map. Just a uh, little bit odd decision making right there. They could have thrown the drone out, reset it, but they tried to rotate it through green plat. And Embo's really started that off. He had one kill, really just kind of interrupted Optic's whole flow. And then on green plat, I believe it was classic with that foul. And the two players they said to look out for, for Prophecy, were going to be classic and Ricky. And both those players playing extremely well right now. Formal with Satellite trying to push it through, has one blocker and will get the two pointer. So. One possession game, 4-3 in favor of Prof as we take our screen back to Bose. Yeah, back on with Bose. He's just going to try and play and get this drone control again. Going to be right behind Krim, be able to pick him up. Very nice play. It's going to be interesting to see where he goes with this drone. Looks like he's just going to try and play some time with it. But he's taken out. Now Formal, he's going to be taken out as well. Just crazy plays going on in this biolab uplink. Classic just really jumping around at this point. Nice cover fire by Ricky over his shoulder. Classic bringing it back over to Purple, waiting for his teammates to get in position. Embo's underneath is clear now. Biolab, you got Moach pressing above with Ricky as well. And Classic just staying alive. Great cover fire coming in from Embo's, and he will be able to lead this one in. It looked like a one point opportunity. Instead, Nade Shot gets a two piece from behind and is going to go for the counter cap. You know, with the way this first half has gone, you would have expected Optic to be down by a lot. If they can get a lead here going into the second half, which it looks like they are, uh, you fully expect them to take this map. Now, we've talked so much against about Prophecy this first half and all the good things that's going on with them, and still Optic has the lead. They're, they really converted that last one really nicely. Nade shot was really last line of defense before Classic went for the toss. Got a two-piece, grabbed the ball, and instantly rotated with three teammates leading the charge. So. It's not just the objective player, it's the teammates ahead of time which are getting the job done and Crim6 is going to jump another one through 7 to 4 as we're down to our last 10 seconds. Optic with 4 points in the last minute alone. Crim just absolutely having a monster first half. Pretty much the reason why Optic has you know, stayed in this game. You know, 16 and 13 with two Oplink scores of his own and Optic going to go into the second half up 3. Uh, you know, if you were to listen to the commentary without the actual game, you would have thought Prophecy was actually, you know, winning uh, most of the time. They played that very strong that first half. Definitely. But still not able to close out in the end. You know, uh, you made a great point, Pucket. You know, those last two or three times that they tried to push Drone into Optics base, they got countered pretty easily. So we're kicking things off. You can see the push. Here comes Optic Gaming. Scumpy going to be the player I'll jump on board with first. And he is getting right up on top of the green railing. Going to be getting on top of purple and pushes in. Doesn't check the player to his left. Finally finds it, chases it down. Won't be able to pick up the kill. It's Classic doing the damage with Moach again. Moach with the two-piece. Classic with the third. Both players going for the satellite. The communication error is going to cost them both their lives as Crim6 and Scumpy now will be pushing in with the ball. And look where Nade Shot's positioned. Rotating all the way back off spawn i want to see what nate is going to try and do to help out this because bose was able to grab that satellite and just dip bose he's going to try and get that one up to his teammate it's going to get it to classic classic misses the goal actually then he's able to put it in so it's going to be prop making this a one point game you'd like to see optic get another player over by that drone it was really only nade shot before now he needs to get over there and really get control and that's what they're going to do Nate shot with players right behind him in Biolab. Last man standing, Scump doing damage, won't be able to get it done. Ricky with the satellite, you got Classic pushing through, and Knight, he's going to get the pass. Nice uses of passing so far by oh. this prop team. Bad shots so far by Classic there. An awful shot right there from Classic. Uh, just wide right. I mean, it was high end to the right. Just uh, we see so many players. They miss those easy shots now. It's kind of getting uh, ridiculous. That was a game tying shot as well. So keep that in right. mind if the score is just a difference of one at the end of this game. Yeah, that's a actually huge shot right there. Uh, a huge miss of a shot right there from Classic. You know, you fully expect professional players to hit that every single time. But we see more and more that players miss those easy shots. What a play from Embos. Can he turn and get the points from it as well? His whole team was dead, and he will score. Embo staying alive, blows up both canisters, chases down the satellite before it can rotate through green and makes them pay. Fantastic single-handed plays from Bose will keep Prof in this game. Classic and Bose left alive, their teammates all down, as Optic Gaming is going to be moving in for this next satellite. 
Very nice play from Bose, and you always have to, you know, remember that if Classic hits that shot, they'd be up one right now, so always keep that in the back of your mind as we go to the last two minutes and 30 seconds left. Ricky with the toss, puts it in, Prof with the lead. Yep, very nice toss from Ricky. Uh, pretty much, just don't give that drone to Classic, like Classic Slay. Don't, don't give the drone to him, uh, not making those shots. He's going to have one player in the back be able to take him out. I think right here for the last, you know, two minutes and 15 seconds, I'd like to see Optic pull out a bow able to secure a little bit more map control. Krim with that satellite got it to the purple roof not much farther. It's Bose now going for the one point downtown play. Did he look up enough? He did not. So that one should fall off the map and reset. It does. Again, it's Prof set up first. Ricky going for the moves across green. Spots players up top, crosses over to blue. Nice routes here. Goes for the yards, has a teammate underneath. It's going to be Embos who jumps it in for the two point play. 10-7. Ridiculous setups here as Prophecy just knows exactly what to do off of every spawn. You know, Optic had actually switched to that battle, as I said. Uh, Formal was able to pull one out, but not getting any map control of that drone. You've pretty much seen this entire second half. We haven't talked about Optic having the drone at all. No. It just doesn't seem they know how to get there. They're, they're cut off before they can get there. Moach doing a great job slaying at distance. Uh, Ricky. He's been behind them a lot of the times when Optic does get set up. Here he is causing problems in purple again. Gets one, looking for a second, has a teammate working with him. And the satellite is going to be forced to rotate through the middle. It's in the hands of Formal. Formal bringing it into Biolab. Charges past two players. Goes for the, the two-point dunk. Hit with an EMP, but waits for the EXO and will get it through. One-point possession, 10-9 here for Prophecy with the lead. Can they hold on for 48 more seconds and take the lead in this best of five? Classic won a huge gun battle right there on Nade Shot. It will get near the drone, but it looked like Scump had turned around, able to pick him up. Let's see if they're going to be able to work this drone. Tons of EMPs coming out from this Prophecy lineup. Fully expect the players on Optic to switch towards Hardwire here last 30 seconds. Sloppy shots coming in from Embos, unable to stop the ball carrier, but Classic is there. Ricky picks up a kill as well. 20 seconds left. Satellite on their side of the map, up and over goes the Justice, oh, excuse me, that was Classic making moves. And instead, we're going to see the satellite reset. All they got to do is toss it on a roof one more time. And it looks like Prof has locked it up here in game number three. They will take a 2-1 lead here in our best of five. Did not see that one coming, but you got a huge game out of Classic. Pretty nice game out of Mochilla. I think on the other side, though, I look, you still got a good game out of Nade. But what I was trying to allude to before, you know, You'd rather have Skump, Formal, and Krim firing on all cylinders than having Nade go positive right there. Skump having a pretty rough game. I'm liking what we're seeing, my friend. A solid match here in the semifinals. Prophecy looking much stronger than anyone could have thought as this team was first put together just a few weeks ago, getting ready for Call of Duty Championship. They're looking strong right now with Classic and Moach doing the slang, but really, I think it's the objective play from yes. Embos and Ricky. They got the shots. They were in position to get the rallies for the two-point plays. This is just a solid team, not a superstar sexy squad that we saw a lot of dream yeah. teams get prepared, uh, but definitely a, a powerhouse squad. It's a ton of all all around effort from every player you know everybody's trying to chip in a little bit on everything so very nice squad right here from prophecy going into this next match definitely has a uh, very nice chance to close it out on ctf well you got to think prof is out of host so when we come back optic gaming should have hosts for games four and five will that be the difference maker as we head to ctf after this